Hey guys, Vlad here with AVT Astro and today as always I've got an interesting Astro review for you guys. For those of you that might not be familiar, I run a little Astro blog called avt-astro.com and of course this YouTube channel, so if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Um, over the years, I've had the privilege of owning over 100 scopes, more accessories than I can count. And guess what? I've got a new accessory for you guys that I'm reviewing today. So this is the Celestron Next YZ uh, smartphone adapter. Now, um, I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera. This thing kind of looks like it's like out of some kind of alien movie, right? I mean, there's like a claw on it and like all kinds of handles and stuff. You know, it actually, you know, it looks pretty cool, I will say. Um, but we're going to find out how well it actually works. So anyhow, uh, let's get outside and we'll kind of check out how this thing, you know, hooks up to your telescope, how your smartphone goes into it, um, and you can kind of see it in action. Alrighty guys, welcome outside. You guys are like, wait a second, Vlad's drinking coffee again. I like coffee, what can I say? Um, okay, anyhow, so we have got the adapter all set up and let's check it out in action. All right, just real quick, equipment we've got going on tonight is, of course, the Lismondi G11 mount that I frequently use. My Beater 5-inch APO. And none other than the Celestron adapter. And, of course, you're like, you know what IP should we be using? The Batter Zoom. <laughs> you guys knew that was coming. For those of you that watch my channel, know that I like that IP. So, uh, anyhow, so check this out. So, here it is, actually. Let me kill all these lights here on the camera. Yeah, there it is. Look at that, the moon. So this is a live view through the scope of the moon right now, right? And that's all there is to it, folks. Okay, okay, I'll give you guys more. Let's check out actually how you'd actually put this on your scope and stuff. Otherwise, this would be the boringest review ever, right? All right, guys, so here she is. So here's the adapter, right? Uh, I'll just point out a couple of things real quick before we, um, you know, start putting this thing on the telescope. So there's three axes. Two of them move with this, these two knobs here. One of the axes uh, moves with this uh, knob here. Uh, I just want to, you know, kind of point that out. Because that way when I'm adjusting it, you know, you kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, this uh, thing here lets you put this onto the uh, eyepiece, right? And you use this knob to tighten it down. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to slide this onto the eyepiece. So this is the batter zoom again. Um, so, you you know, you basically retract this claw. And this is, again, adjustable. I'm actually going to adjust it a little wider than I had. Okay. So, and I'm actually pointing this pointing down um, on purpose. The reason is, is because, you know, since this is a zoom eyepiece, the zoom mechanism will want to rotate if I point it like any other direction. So you almost like with this particular eyepiece have to point it down, uh, depending, you know, on how heavy your phone is, you might have to do that anyhow. So anyhow, so at this point, what I'm doing is I'm adjusting uh, that little knob to clamp down around the eyepiece. So now this thing is pretty secure. Now mine um, is kind of wobbly, like the cell phone holder, so I don't really like that. I'll, I'll kind of check out and update you guys if, if I can find a fix for that. I don't know if they're all like that, but mine was, so I kind of don't really like that. I will point that out. Okay, so you know, you take your cell phone, this is the uh, my wife's Galaxy Note 10, because I'm, or Note 20 Ultra, I should say. Uh, I'm recording with my phone, uh, so that's why I stole my wife's phone, right? Good husband, right? <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, to put the phone in, you simply, you know, kind of open the little, ooh, and then I just move the scope so we're not pointing at the moon, so this is going to be like a real, you know, this is like the real deal is how you're going to actually do all this, right? <laughs> okay. So now we have the phone in, right? I'm actually going to purposely, you know, kind of move the phone to where it's not pointed directly, you know, into the uh, IPs. So what I would do, right, is I would actually preferably get the scope already pointed at, you know, probably the moon or the planet. So what you're probably going to be using this for, probably the moon, really. 
Um, and then, you know, put your phone on and hopefully not move the scope like I just did. But, you know, where would the fun be in that? Uh, and actually, you know, this kind of brings up a good point. Let's see if I can move this. Yeah, I can move this far enough to where I can actually see through the eyepiece, you know, partially. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Let's see. So I'm using my Red Dot Finder right now, right, to... Um, or hopefully using the Red Dot Finder. All these bright lights from the camera make this kind of hard. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I see it now. Okay, so I'm gonna reposition the scope so to where it's pointing at the moon. I'm looking through the eyepiece, you know, roughly centering the moon. That looks pretty good. And at this point, you want to turn on your uh, phone, right? You go into your camera app. <clears throat> so we went to the camera app, right? Screen is, screen is black and, you know, the screen is actually on. It's just that it's not capturing anything because, you know, the phone is obviously right now, it's not pointed at the... Uh, eyepiece, right? So this is where we're going to use these two guys, right, to check this out. So I'm moving the phone towards the, uh, towards covering the eyepiece, right? Okay, and let's check out the screen now. So still the same knob. And let's see. So right now, you know, you can kind of see, you kind of know where your camera hump is. So right now, uh, in, uh, like, you know, in kind of like the axis that goes, you know, that way, um, I think I'm kind of, yeah, over where the camera hump is. So now I'm going to try to do the other axis, right? The up and down axis. So I'm going down. Nothing still on the screen. All right. Oh, look at that. What do we got here? I got some action. <laughs> We got the moon. <laughs> so, you know, that's all there is to it, right? I mean, look at that. So that's what's kind of cool about this particular adapter. Um, you know, the simple, cheaper ones, you know, you can kind of do this. It's just a lot more complicated. With this thing, you know, having those knobs to where, you know, you could kind of move it in all the axis, you know, it makes it really easy, you know, kind of aligning this. Now, you know, quick pro tip for you. So like right now we're, you know, looking at the moon and if I kind of press on it, the exposure is kind of okay, right? But it's not as good as it was before. What you want to do actually is you want to go to, uh, this is, you know, on Galaxy, on Samsung phones, you go to the more option, then you go to the pro camera mode, right? And this is where you could adjust the ISO, uh, like the, you know, the exposure and all that good stuff. So this is where you want to end up at, right? And then, so now at this point, the image looks cool because I already, you know, pre-adjusted this earlier, but just to kind of give you an idea. So if, you know, I could adjust the ISO, like see that's way overexposed, right? And then, you know, like underexposed. So you adjust it to whatever you want. I think I had it... Uh, probably like roughly there. That looks pretty good. And then you just snap an image, right? Pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, and now yeah, I'll see you guys back inside. We'll kind of conclude the review and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts on this thing. See you in a bit. Alrighty guys and gals, welcome back. So what did I think about the cell phone adapter that Celestron makes? I think this is one of the most premium units out there on the market, you know, that lets you attach your cell phone to your telescope, spot and scope. I think they even advertise it to be able to attach to a microscope, which, you know, it's not surprising. You know, and it's totally functional, you know, having the three axis adjustment, right, of where exactly your, you know, camera is going to be pointed at, it is really helpful, you know, you can adjust how far away it is from the eyepiece, you know, and usually you want it to be smacked up, up against it. Um, I found that the attachment point, the way that this, you know, kind of clamps on and then you can kind of tighten it down works really well. You know, not too many issues with it. You know, my unit, you know, like I said, is, you know, it's a little loose on this axis. Like, these axes are totally solid. So, I'm not sure if they're all like that. Uh, that's my only gripe with it. Otherwise, you know, this thing works pretty darn well. You know, in which situations would I, you know, recommend this in versus... Because, I mean, this, you know, this thing costs like 75 bucks. I mean, you could get like a dedicated, you know, like a little astronomy camera, like the Saibon SV-105 that I reviewed. You know, same type of price range, or actually even the two, if I really... <clears throat> uh, and, you know, if you're curious about that, check out my reviews. Um, you know, 
to me, like eyepiece projection, which is what this method is, you know, called when you're, you know, using like a camera to basically record through the eyepiece. It's kind of like a more raw type of experience. So if you know, um, if if you wanna kind of have the ability to capture that, like let's say the moon with your phone or the sun, if you have like you know appropriate filters for that, I mean, I'll look at the sun, you know, without any filters. Um, I think this is really cool. Um, like one of the coolest things about this, you know, like we, uh, a few like months ago, we had like a little party here, you know, with just some friends and I had a telescope set up cause I'm like the only astro nerd <laughs> that, that there is, you know, like in the group of, you know, friends that we have. Um, and you know, we had it pointed at the moon, the moon is out, right? And everybody was just trying to take pictures, you know, through their telescope, through the telescope, you know, cause a lot of these people, you know, they've never even looked through a telescope before. And, you know, having one of these would be really cool and valuable. Cause, uh, back then, like honestly, I didn't even have an adapter, you know, to where, you know, we were just kind of trying to handhold it. And it's kind of hard to, you know, get a good capture to where this makes it really easy. Um, the other thing that's kind of nice about having this and being able to capture with your smartphone versus like a dedicated astronomy camera is that, um, I mean, it's really quick, you know, you just attach it, you don't need your computer there, um, and you could share it, you know, instantly like on Facebook or, you know, whatever you want to do. All right, to sum things up and bring the ship home. Would I recommend the cell phone adapter? You know, for what its intended purposes are to align your cell phone with uh, uh, eyepiece of your telescope, this thing actually works really well. So for that, yeah, I would recommend it. Now you gotta decide for yourself whether 75 bucks is worth it, you know, to be able to do that. Because realistically to me anyway, I mean, the only thing that I can really like see myself using this for is to take a capture of the moon with, you know, with my phone and share it really quickly with, you know, friends or family. Or again, if you have guests over, you know, and if, if you're one of those people that does have guests over and you want them to be able to, you know, get a, you know, capture of the moon, this thing does, you know, make it really, you know, cool with, you know, with their cell phones. So anyway, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them in the thing below. Um, if you're not subscribed, again, please do consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.